These videos were originally intended for my own amazing grandkids, Maya, Jacob, Zachary, Amelia and Inika. But we thought, having made them, why not let everybody play? April 2020, all of our lives have been turned upside down with this coronavirus. So we've been looking for things to amuse ourselves at DIY Doctor. Um, and our sister building company Foundations Up, we just need to have some fun during the day. Um, and so we thought we'd try a few science experiments. Then, it, then we kind of figured you might get something out of them as well. So this is for all the people stuck indoors uh, that have got a few of these bits and pieces. I had no idea how much stuff scientists need. Um, but we hope you have fun with it and we're going to be making some cool stuff. Okay, so for our first experiment at home, you're going to need a roll of roofing felt, um, a little drill, a gallon of creosote, and a chop saw. Not really. Welcome to another DIY Doctor Science experiment. Um, you will need a hard hat. Of course. In this video, we are going to be making a hovercraft. How cool is that? We're going to make it out of CDs or ACD, however many spare you've got, or a DVD. Um, I think most people have got a few spare DVDs around these days. We don't use them anymore, do we? You could also make it by cutting out a little bit of Netflix from the telly, perhaps. Um, however, you're going to need a CD or a DVD and a pop-up bottle top, like a sports bottle top. Now, I've used lots of different ones trying to demonstrate this experiment, and the best one, I wish I got paid for this, the best top that I've used is from Fruit Shoot. Um, it's a pop-up top, opens and closes, and that's gonna be our hovercraft valve. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, so we've got a bottle top, and we've got a CD, or in this case a DVD. Now what we've got to do is attach the bottle top to the DVD. Now there's two ways, three ways of doing this really. You can use some super glue as long as it glues, as long as the one that you've got uses plastic. You can use blue tack but a word of warning I've tried making a couple out of blue tack and the blue tack is actually quite heavy so it weighs the DVD down, a little, DVD down a little bit more. The best way we have found is with a glue gun. Now, obviously I'm aware um, we are builders and glue guns are second nature to us. We use them all the time. You may not have one, but obviously if you know that they exist in this video, it might be, you know, you might be able to get one on mail order or something fairly quickly. Or if you've got one, that's great. But the thing to do, carefully, is to apply some glue around the edge of the bottle top okay and then try and get it central and pop it over the hole in the DVD put some pressure on it hold it down it doesn't necessarily have to be dead center it doesn't matter and then what I found to make it stronger is we get the glue gun again and we go all the way around with the glue gun, just to give it that extra bit of support. I need a new stick in this glue gun. Glue gun. Okay, so you can see the idea there, all the way around, so that we've got a nice strong base for our DVD or our hovercraft. So having glued that up, and giving it a couple of minutes to go hard. Glue, gum, glue doesn't take very long at all to go hard. Um, we've got our hovercraft. Um, but there's a bit missing, of course, isn't there? That's the air. And the air's gonna come from blue, okay? So, first of all, we'll make sure that our stopper is closed on our bottle top. Push down on that, make sure that's closed. And then we're gonna blow our balloon up. Doesn't have to be blown all the way up just to to, um, to to make the hovercraft move, but um, you can 
you can experiment with how, many, how much air you put in the balloon. Next thing to do, hold the end and twist it, okay? So that none of the air can get out. Hold the twist, you might need to get uh, mum or dad to help you with this. Hold the twist so that you've got the end of the balloon showing. And then put the end of the balloon over the nozzle of the drink, okay? Now because the valve is closed, we can then untwist the balloon and no air will get out. Okay, that is our hovercraft. Then what we're going to do is hold the green bit or the base of your bottle top down tight with your fingers. Again, you might need mum and dad's help. And then lift the bottle top, the nozzle up a little bit until you hear it go pfft. Okay, and then let it go. And you can see you've made a brilliant hovercraft. And you can experiment by opening the valve, the bottle top, all the way, halfway, quarter way, and see which gives you the better fun. And that, ladies and gentlemen, and children, is the DIY Dr. Hovercraft. Really hope you enjoy that as much as we have.